Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Brian with Copper Sky Industries and in today's video we are going to be copper plating some lead bullets. Here I have some 40 cal lead round balls from Hornady. Let's get started. Okay, so one of the most important steps in electroplating after you've prepared your metals is activating the metal. Here I've got some pickle number four from Caswell Plating. It's one of my favorites to use when I'm doing my plating. And the reason for this is to get proper adhesion of the material you want to plate onto lead. It's very important that you use an activator of some sort to get it ready to take the plate. Okay, so now I've got my pickle number four from Caswell Platings mixed up in the bucket. I've got my material here to activate, which are the lead round balls. And I like to use these net bags. You can use, well, there's many different methods that you can go about, but these are these are quite handy for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to submerge this in here. Um, you want to go at least two minutes with lead. I'm going to actually let these go probably a little bit longer while we get our plater set up. So let's go ahead and sink those in there. I'll give you a look. And they're in there. We'll check on them in a minute. Maybe shake them around a little bit. And uh, let's get that machine set up. All right, so here's the tub that you're going to get with your Copper Sky Industries mini barrel plating machine. Um, that's included when you purchase the machine. The rest of this stuff is equipment that comes. Um, I ordered a flash copper plating kit from Caswell's, and they include um, in that kit you get your copper anodes you get a little air pump here to agitate the solution while you're plating and um they also give you these little these little leads here so you can connect both your cathodes together um, what we're going to do is i've already got the air pump in there i've got these anodes clipped on and we're going to get the machine set in there and we're going to fill the tub with solution up to uh, it'll probably come to right near the top of this machine and that's that's perfect for what we're going to need to do so here's a quick tip when you're doing your electroplating in between each step you're going to be doing a lot of rinsing um, it's recommended always to use distilled water, and I like these pump sprayers here. It makes the process in between, in between uh, degreasing and activating after you plate and all that, it, it makes it so much easier just to get your, your items cleaned. Um, have a tub or a bucket or something that you can hold your material over and rinse it off with, but these things work great. I recommend getting one. Okay, so now it's time to get our lead here out of the Caswell pickle. And you probably can't tell from this shot, but the oxide layer has been removed from the lead bullets. And this is now activated and ready to go into your bath. So, sorry about that. We're going to give it a rinse. into our bucket here, get this all cleaned up, and you're not going to want to let this sit, you're want to going to go immediately, you're going to want to go immediately into plating, otherwise if you let this sit out too long, it'll just form an oxidation level on there again, and you'll have to start over, but we'll get these cleaned up and we'll get them in the barrel. All right, so here's a look at uh, our bullets here. It's probably hard to tell in this lighting, but this one 
is one that has been cleaned and activated. This one here has not. It's a little bit darker. It's still got that oxide layer on it. So you want to make sure that you get that removed and your metal's looking somewhat like this before you go into your bath. All right, the next step, now that we have our bullets in there, I'm gonna get this set up here. Grab your machine. Make sure that the dangler in there is making contact with your media. Go ahead and screw that on. Okay, nice and tight. All right, and we'll be going into the bath. All right, so we've got our material in the barrel, our bath set up. We've got our circulation pump going. We've got the black lead from our power source connected to the plating machine. You've got your red lead here connected to the anodes. And we are ready to fire up. So we're going to go on with the rectifier. And I like to keep this around around two volts. Should be a good uh, a good point. You don't want to scorch you don't want to scorch your plating, which is very easy to do if you get carried away with your voltage. Now we're going to turn it on and let her run for I don't know maybe half an hour, and then we'll check back in on it. All right, we're back. The bath has been running for about 30 minutes, give or take. We're gonna shut the machine down, pull it out, give everything a rinse, and we'll take a look and see how our bullets turned out. All right, so here's an update. Um, <clears throat> I let these run for about 30 minutes, and they were plating, but they didn't have the thickness that we were looking for. So I went ahead and let these run overnight and now we're going to take a look at them see how they turned out i know my lighting's not good in here so you can't really tell but I'll try to get a little closer and you can see how shiny these are now they seem to have taken a pretty good plate So, our next step now is I'm going to throw these in the tumbler and we're going to polish them up and I will show you the result. Alright guys, <clears throat> here are the final results of our plating video. As you can see, they turned out pretty well. Um, if you have any questions about the process or the machine that I used, you can... Uh, leave something in the comment section below the video and I'll be happy to answer your questions the best I can. Stay tuned for further content on our channel and until then, thanks for watching.